Today I'm out here with Samantha. Samantha, how old are you? I'm 24. Samantha, how long have you been using blues? About three years now, four years. And how'd you get started with that? Uh, kind of like a rough, you know, family, a, a rough marriage, and uh, we're breaking up, and so, you know, I had friends who introduced me to it, and I kind of got caught on to it, and then. Do you have kids? Two, uh, one passed away. I had her stillborn at six months pregnant. How long ago was that? About two years ago. Uh, my condol condolences for your loss. How old is your other baby? She's five. She's with her uh, dad's mother right now. When was the last time you saw your baby? Two, two years ago. Do you miss your baby? Yeah, a lot. A lot. Have you tried professional treatment? No. I think I just need to help myself. I, I, want, I should try it, but honestly, I think I put myself onto it, so I should do it, get off myself. When's the last time you tried to like, would, like get off of it by yourself? Like a month ago. How did that go? Very rough. Uh, I went through the sickness very, very rough. Uh, it was just hard. I couldn't do it, and I, I relapsed. Yeah. How many pills do you need per day? I do at least a 50 pack a day. So you're telling me you smoke 50 pills per day? Or more, yeah. Do you think that's because you've built a high tolerance yeah. and you need more and more? Yeah, I'll put two or three on a, on a tray at a time, yeah. How much were you doing like when you initially started? One, two, here and there. I would sneak it, so yeah, one or two. Probably one or two, like, um, yeah, one or two. And then it went from three to four, five to six, you know, more. Just upped it. Have you ever overdosed? No, I never have, ever. ever. Do, doing that many per day, don't you think there's a high chance that you'll overdose and? Uh, it's just, the, I guess, I guess how you, I smoke it, so I guess it's how you smoke it, how you consume it. I always smoke until I know that, I, I guess that's enough for me. My body can consume, and then I'll take a break, whatever. So I kind of wait till I, I, I know when I could like, you know, as much as I can take. People, I, uh, then other people like just smoke it, just, just to smoke it. And then they they overdose, I guess. Or their bodies can't take the fentanyl. I've always, always been on, I've always been on pain meds since I was little. So I guess my body's used to it. Most people that I talk to, they're like living out in the streets. Is that your situation as well? It was for a little while, but no, I'm, I'm back at my sister's house. So I, I'm gonna take it slow. Obviously I can't do drugs at her house because she has kids. So I come out, get high, go back. It's slowing down, the highness is slowing down, but like right now I'm sick, I, I shouldn't be sick. I'm out here trying to scrub up change to get high. And, what does sick mean? Like withdrawals? Because withdrawals, you, you're not, not smoked all day. I haven't smoked all day. I've been asleep. So I'm, I'm sick right now. And what, so withdrawing or feeling sick, what does that feel like for you? Pain, very pain, weak. I'm weak right now. Sleepy, I'm sleepy, I'm like shaking. My, my nose is starting to run. Eventually it gets worse, sir, throughout, through the days. Do you think you've hit rock bottom or not yet? Not, not yet. No. Hopefully I don't, honestly. I, I've hit rock bottom before, but I rub myself back out. I used and I, I, I before I used, I used to use um, about two years ago, I hit rock bottom. This time around, I, I think smarter about it, I guess. But I mean, it's not, like, it's not a smart thing to do, keep doing the drugs. It really, it really brings you back to the rock bottom, but just, you make smarter choices before you hit the rock bottom again. So it's been said that there's no greater love than a mom has for their child. And so with you being a mom, would you say that this addiction to these pills is stronger um, than you, you know, what you, the love you have for your baby and your family? Honestly, no, it's just all about the, the way that you feel like, I, I can love my kid, still, still do the drug, still take care of my kid, just not do it around my kid. It's just what, what, what happens to you in life, I guess. 
that everyone's different, I guess. Yeah, someone that could be related to someone, but that's not related to me. Well, I love my kid. I'll take care of my kids. I still do the drugs, but I, I don't. I, I don't want to do it anymore. I don't. I want to get my kids back. And, where will you be in six months? Honestly, not. Hopefully, not. Not here. Not. Not doing drugs. Hopefully, bettering myself. I have a boyfriend in jail now that he went through withdrawals, and I want to better myself for him and my daughters. When's your boyfriend getting out? Six years. So I kind of have to hold it down, I guess. You know, provide money for his books and make sure he's good in there. So you can't do it being high out here when he's sober in there. So you're going to wait six years for him, and hopefully in that time you get clean and... Hopefully, yeah. Sooner, hopefully sooner, but yeah. What, um, what's the youngest you've seen out here in the streets? Ten. Ten years old. Ten years old? Yeah. Ten years old. Do you, do you remember with their situation? Not, not really. I, well, I guess he's, he would be fighting with his grand, grandmother. His parents are, are both dead, and he just kind of, in the, with the neighborhood he was in, he just kind of fell off. Being 10 years old, now he's on the streets, not wanting to go home, always getting high. You're the second person in this week that tells me about that 10 year old. So it's true, right? It's like there's a 10 year old running out around out here pretending to be older, right? Acting older. And that's that's really sad, right? It's very sad. Because your your baby is half that age, right? Yep. Can you imagine? Yep. What advice would you have for other young kids out there and preteens that are thinking about being cool, being older, trying to live a a glamour, glamorous life, right? Is this glamorous for you? It's not glamorous at all. I, I lost myself a lot. It's like, it makes you lose your your, your perspective, it makes you lose your reputation. You just, you become someone that you're not. And it's really fucked up. I think, um, Samantha, the mom, the the Samantha before drugs is in there somewhere, right? You have to fight hard for your future, for your life, for your children. And um, you said you don't want to go to treatment because it, you know you got yourself into this. You're gonna get yourself out of it, and that's that's fine. But I just want you, hopefully you can do that soon because it's dangerous out here. There's danger doing 50 a day. That's that's very dangerous. You're just gambling, right? Every pill could be your last pill because you know they, they don't make them right right they just whatever they don't care yeah. so um stay safe please stay safe please decide to get treatment i'm gonna give you my information for you to call me when you're ready the purpose of this channel is to create prevention through awareness so i give you a lot of uh i commend you for your courage to share your story because you're trying to help out others right they can learn from your mistakes learn the way life your lifestyle is right now and they can make better choices right yeah. so thank you for helping um and uh, we'll talk soon okay thank you thank samantha you. bye